Okay. Um, okay. Will we get a move here by black? Right side of your screen. And Andrea's camera is on the bottom right. Alex is on the bottom left. I think we're all good. We're all up to date. And uh, we can start we can start the fun. How are you guys? Um, hope you're enjoying your Friday. Um, hope hope you're uh, settled in with a nice cup of coffee or, or tea or something stronger because these are obviously classical OTB games. Um, I don't know how much Alex and Andrea have talked about this tournament. Um, up to date on what's going on on both boards. Okay. So let's take a look to see if Alex's game has any updates. Yes, Alex played a six, um, and hers is the more, I would say, the more concerning position early on. Um, because Alex is yet about this game. I think the middle game is going to be exciting, but for now, they're kind of getting their pieces out. Looks like her opponent wants to put a rook on d8, maybe strike in the center with d5. So let's see if my uh, theory is proven right if Andrea drops her bishop back to g2. Uh, that was sort of okay. She's back at the board um, and probably will play bishop g2 pretty quickly uh, would be my guess. Let's see. This is the first round, yeah. The analysis is not showing. Um, let's see. Not see my moves. Let's see. I'm looking at I'm looking at the at the stream. What's the story behind this emote? <laughs> Just David Howell being a sneaky, <laughs> sexy. I don't know. Turn on Andrea's clock, and ultimately that did her and there was that one last moment where andrea had to find rook a4 which is a really tough move rook to a4 the lateral defensive move this would have secured the draw uh because black is never really able to take this pawn because then white pushes b5 and exposes an attack on black's king um once she missed that move and me uh with white so if white plays bishop b3 this would be my instinct, uh, threatening just to win a pawn with d takes e5. And you don't really want to trade on d4 prematurely because then white will take with a knight, and this is how you get in trouble. Now, this is hanging. This is under fire as well. And if you allow white to take on e6 and give a check on h5, now the king is driven out. So this would be an example of how, how I would not play with black. Um, and bishop e3 asks some pretty unpleasant questions.